when you're doing a literature review search, the first really important thing that you need to do is obviously identify the, the keywords or the terms that you're going to use in order to search the databases. Because without those keywords, um, you're either going to get like wrong text and you'll be wasting your time or you know, you're, you're really not going to be able to generate anything at all and you're not going to get any useful texts at all. That's why in this video I want to show you how to you know how to do this first step of a literature review search which is generate keywords. So let's dive right in and let's see how this is done. If you're new here my name is Marek Kiczkovac and I run Academic English Now where I help early career researchers write more research papers for high impact journals. And in this video, I wanna talk about the first step of the literature review search, which is generating the keywords. I've got another video in which I talk, you know, in depth, step by step about how to do a really good literature review search quickly and how to write the literature review. And you can see that uh, video right here. There's a link in the description as well if you wanna check it out. But in here, we're gonna dive deeper into the first step, which is generating the keywords. And as I said, this is vital because with wrong keywords, you're going to generate wrong text and you will be wasting a lot of time. And you'll be frustrated because you won't be able to find the texts that are useful. Or you might end up on a completely wrong path and you will think that there aren't any useful texts to review. What's going on, right? And you know, if you generate the wrong keywords as well, um, you might not have enough literature to put in your literature review. So this is really key. So how do we generate the right keywords for the literature review search? Well, first of all, you know, you need research questions or research objectives. If you're not sure how to generate really strong research questions, then I've got another video in which I talk about this issue specifically, right? And here I'm not going to talk about, you know, how to generate research questions, but once you've got them and you've got the aim of your study, you need to, from that aim, you need to extract um, the key terms and words that you're going to be using in your literature review search. So for example, in one of my recent studies, I looked at the representation of native and non-native speakers as plenary speakers at conferences for English language teachers, right? So if I look at this, you know, aim of the, of the paper, what I have here is, is several keywords that I could extract, right? I've got native and non-native speakers. I've got conferences and more specifically English language teaching conferences. And I've got plenary speakers as well. And I've got the word representation, right? That I could, I could look at. So these would be the words that, you know, I would immediately need to write down as my main keywords, right? Native, non-native speakers, English language teaching conferences or conferences in general, representation, right? And plenary speakers. But now the, the second thing that you've got to do is to generate some synonyms. Why do you want synonyms? Well, because researchers or people in general, we use different words to say the same thing right? And, you know, you might think that, oh, no, you know, in my field, we always say this, but you'd be surprised, like, how many different terms researchers can use to describe um, a certain thing, right? So now you want to start looking at what synonyms there potentially um, are for this particular thing. So if we stay just with the example that I've given you of the conferences, right? Um, one term that I'm looking at is plenary speakers. But there are other terms that could be used, you know? So researchers might use something like keynote speakers. That's another way to refer to a plenary speaker, right? We might have featured speakers. We might have invited speakers. Or we might just have more general, generally speakers, right? And so what I'm trying to say is that if I'm just searching for, uh, for plenary speakers, right, in my review search, I might miss a lot of um, other studies where researchers you didn't use the term plenary speakers, but they used conference speakers or keynote speakers or featured speakers or invited speakers or maybe something else, right? So the second really important step is to look at synonyms. 
Now, the third really good thing to do in order to um, to validate those keywords and and you know look for um, more ideas is to ask your colleagues, right? So once you know you have a list of keywords that you've generated and the synonyms, you could go to to a colleague, and this could be somebody in your field, but it's also really good to ask people who are outside of your field because they might have a completely different perspective on things. And then ask them, you know, what words they associate with a particular topic. And in order to avoid, you know, uh, bias, um, you could just give them the topic of your research and ask them what sort of words they associate with that topic. And that will give you a, a list of more keywords um, that you could use. Some of them will be similar to the ones that you've got, but you might be surprised like at the, the other words that that person has generated. So that will be really, really helpful to ask other people. And now the, the last way of, of doing it is to, is to look at um, papers published in your field, right, on that particular topic and see what keywords they use, you know, in order to describe their paper. So usually, you know, a paper has a title and then there is an abstract and then there are keywords and those keywords are listed on the first page, right? So look at those keywords and look at, you know, I would say between five and 10 research papers to see if you haven't missed any important keywords, right? And then if you have, add them to your list, right? Now, and when you're using those keywords, I wanted to give you two pro tips when doing the literature review search. The first thing is to use connecting words. What are they? Well, you can use words like end or, or but or or in order to kind of for the search engine to make connections, right? So if you use end, for example, if I say English language teaching and conferences, um, the search engine is going to give me only articles that have both English language teaching and conferences at the same time, right? But if I want to expand my search, I could use or. So what I could say is English language teaching or conferences. And then I'm going to get papers on English language teaching and on conferences, but not on the two together necessarily, right? And you can also use the word but to exclude certain things, right? Um, so you could say, you know, conferences, but medicine, if you don't want to get any results on medical conferences, to give you, to give you one example, right? So that's, that's the first pro tip, use these kind of connecting words. But the second um, really important tip is to use an asterisk. So sometimes, you know, there are words have families, right? So there can be a word um, that can be used in, in different ways, like an adjective, it can be put in the plural and so on. So to give you a simple example, we can have the word conference or conferences, right? Just in the plural. What happens is if you, you know, if you put the word conferences, the search engine might not give you the word um, papers with the word conference, right? So what you can do in order to avoid having kind of like, you know, a lot of keywords that are almost the same or from the same word family is to put an asterisk. So you could put conference and then an asterisk at the end of it. And then this will give you not only papers with the word conference, but also conferences, right? And the same thing goes for, you know, um, adjectives and verbs and stuff like this. When, when a word changes slightly, use that asterisk. So in this video, I showed you, you know, how to generate keywords for your literature review search. And if you're interested in working with me more personally, then book a free one-to-one -one strategy session where we're going to identify your exact problems, pinpoint your goals, and then also outline a personalized strategy that will help you to achieve those goals. And if you want that to, to book that strategy session, the link is somewhere below the video in the description.